Hello B Business B fans and welcome to today's B Business B vlog. Well I'm gonna look at a topic that I seem to be asked quite a lot about, and that is the topic of Brexit. Now actually one of the topics on the topic of Brexit is the backstop. People seem to be saying to me like, what do they mean when they keep talking about the backstop in the news? What's it all about? Why are people saying this thing about the backstop and what does what impact does it have on me? Well, I think the most important thing to start off with is thinking about, look at my diagram here. I've got Ireland over there. You can see that, Ireland. And I've got the UK over here behind me. Now, the drawings, I'm to apologise for anybody who thinks, what the hell are they? But what I've got here is, obviously, the UK is in the EU, yeah? And obviously, over here, we've got Southern Ireland down here, which obviously is going to be part of the EU, but will remain part of the EU, where the UK, of course, is going to leave. And so will Northern Ireland, because that's part of the UK. And we have a border that goes across here. So we've got this little border here that goes across. Now, that border is going to be potentially a problem when we leave the European Union. Because one of the things that we're going to do when we leave the European Union is we want the ability to set our own trade deals. You've probably seen that in the news lots and lots and lots. And when you set your own trade deals, what that's suggesting we do is we can get something called basically our own package that we can trade with. So for example, at the moment, we have free trade with the rest of Europe. And I think we'll be looking to try and contain that in an ideal world. But alongside that, we might want to remove some of the quotas and tariffs we pay with other countries. So the USA, for example, or China. And we'd want to do our own independent trade deals. Now, at the moment, we are part of what's called a customs union. And you've probably heard that word mentioned, and you're probably thinking, big word, don't know what it means. Well, I can tell you, a customs union, quite simply, is basically all the European Union countries come together and they agree a set of rules. And everybody has to implement those rules. And they will charge tariffs to people who are outside of the European Union at the same rate. So they'll all stick by those rules in the European Union and they will all charge the same rate tariffs. But if we're leaving the European Union, then this border over here becomes a bit of a problem because that border over there then is going to have different rules. We're going to have some rules in the Northern Ireland there, but obviously you're going to have different rules down here in Southern Ireland. Potentially, let's take an example, we might have free trade with America. We might do a deal with America. So in the UK, we have free trade with America, but they don't in Ireland. And as a result of that, it could mean that the, potentially the EU is going to lose out or have issues. So they want to have some form of checks to take place. Now, normally on a border, that's what you do. You just put a border there. You have some form of control. You build a wall and you check your customs process. But both the EU and the UK say they don't want one of those. So the simple speak says if neither of them wants one, what are we all arguing about? Because we don't want one, we won't have one. You, somebody has to build a wall, surely. But actually, what the problem here is, is the fact that when you cross that border over here, so when you do cross that border, something's got to do the check somehow. For example, if we bring products into the EU, maybe we'll have a free trade agreement. I'm not saying we have got one, but maybe we'll get one. But let's say we bring items from America that go through the UK. The EU wants to stop that happening. That happens currently at the moment with Norway. The EU stops that happening to make sure that they can't bring other items in from other parts of the world. So they want some form of check to take place. Now, they don't want a border, so what they're saying is we need to have some solution. Now, there could be technological solutions. It depends on you ask. Some people argue we've now got the technology to be able to implement that so the lorries can drive past and then we can impose our tariffs remotely. Or what we could do is this thing called a backstop. Now, the backstop is all about building our border actually down here, right down the middle of the sea. So Northern Ireland effectively stays in the EU, so it has different rules to what the UK has. So our border controls effectively would be in over here in Liverpool, for example. So that's where the items will be checked before they go over to Ireland. Now, of course, that is an issue because people in Northern Ireland don't want to be associated, on the whole, with the Southern Irish as a different country. They see themselves as being part of the UK. So because of that, they don't want that. They think that's going to separate the country and cause issues. So what we have now is a standoff and a big argument over effectively this border. How are we going to police the border? And who's going to police the border? So when we talk about the backstop, what we're talking about is this idea that EU has imposed that actually 
if we can't find a solution to this border, then what will happen is Northern Ireland will have a different set of rules than the rest of the UK over there, and we will have effectively a big border down the sea, which nobody sees, but we'll do the checks in the UK. And that is an issue to the Northern Irish people, especially the DUP, who are the political party who are helping to keep Theresa May's government going and, and functional. And there are also many MPs that don't agree with that as well. There are plenty of arguments going on about how we sold the backstop. However, when you do hear that word backstop, what we're talking about is that border, and we're talking about a solution to potentially solve that problem. Whether it's right or wrong, I'll let you decide on that one. However... Until next time, keep buzzing.